So next up, we have Abigail Williams. This is the, straight up. This is not the buff I wanted her to have, although it does fix a problem she had, but not the only problem she had. Uh, before I was even thinking, oh, with the uh, rank up uh, a pen changes, she was able to do Buster farming already. But now she 100% is able to do Buster farming right now. And doesn't matter whether you have uh, the new append on the Uck or not. Uh, they straight up made it. So no matter what, ba Abigail is actually able to do three turn Buster farming as a single target. Uh, but she has a glaring weakness for damage in this situation and that is a hundred percent if her debuffs do not land uh hopefully in the future they give her a buff that deals with that it's i want to say they would put it on the mp they would not put it on uh the last skill she has left to be buffed which is her second skill just because uh, the way i wanted is for her to be able to get defense uh re um debuff res down so that she's just able to land it and i'm even changing what i want from her mp uh from what i was saying before so let's get started on abigail first off base attack it is high for a foreigner she like she was the first one uh and they didn't give her like a gimped uh like lower by that like make this lower by a thousand and then make her in the like lower uh end of the spectrum for her five star attack corners don't have uh a negative modifier there's 1.1 i mean 1.0 and yeah star weight sargen these are uh foreigner numbers i am sad about her only having one quick card even though it is like fairly good it's not amazing but it is good uh mp charge 0.25 this is horrendous her gain is so bad she needed all these batteries because her face cards aren't going to do shit she is a buster servant with a triple arts deck she has a caster deck this gimps her gains so badly uh, that she needed her first skill to be buffed the way it was. And she does need the extra charge on her third skill. It's it's not good. If you've ever used like Takeru, uh, Summer Valks, Gilgamesh, uh, Caster, when they don't have their MP gain buffs, or they're not MPing. If you try to like use their face cards, you are going to be as disappointed with them as you will with Abigail because she doesn't have MP gain either. Using her, uh, even if it's a six hit arts card, it kind of doesn't matter if the total gain is the same as a two hit arts card with much better, uh, much higher base gain. Like critting is not going to help with this. Uh, not by a lot. This number is just way too low. Um, the hit counts are awesome for it, but God damn, did they gimp her so badly. Like this, this number being the way it is, is part of the reason like she's not used at all. Uh, yeah, she's a buster. Yes. Now we really don't care about refund, which is like why this is like less of an issue now, but outside of controlled uh like farming or more controlled cqs she is going to not feel good to use uh and if you didn't know she gets way closer to cthulhu uh esque design as she ascends uh. all right so first skill this is what it used to be party 30 percent mp damage and 10 gauge per turn i mean 
yes, this helps a lot. Helped her a lot at the start, but it was still not good. When they buffed it, all they did was give her a 30 battery, and that was it. Uh, but if you notice here, cool down to seven. So right now, if like if you had the fifth of pen unlocked, this is technically for the first turn a six turn cooldown, which works in Buster farming. So technically, if all you cared about was can she Buster farm, yes or no, at the start of ninth anniversary, the answer was yes. Before ninth anniversary, the answer was no. And now, I don't want to say she can. She can black rail loop, but no. Wait, uh. Yeah, no, she can black rail loop, but you have to have Summer Chloe to give you the starting 10%. And you also have to have, uh, mana loading. And you also have to have this unlocked. Uh, wait. Uh. Wait. No, no, no. In order to black rail loop, you need to have three or two of the appends unlocked. So, and you would still need Summer Chloe for that too. So this buff helped, but didn't fix her issues. Like she could have been using multi-core, but it would just, there were other servants that could have buffed you more, uh, especially because her best class is against Berserkers. Everyone's strong against Berserkers. Um, yeah. Second skill. This is where some of her issues will come from this new buff. Uh, inflicts terror one time, three turns to all enemies and reduces their defense for three turns. This used to be her damage. This was all that she was getting for extra damage, 20% defense. Now the terror is where she's getting the majority of her def uh, damage from. However, if this doesn't land, your damage is going to not be good. If this doesn't land, there was the only difference is now um, Abigail can actually do a setup. She can actually farm. But even still, like this is this is like on wave three, you do not want this to fail. You truly do not want this to fail because your damage gonna go about down by a lot because you get a hundred percent damage mod against anyone that has the terror status. Now this could either be this clock icon or it's the terror stun. So it is, or terror, uh, like, yeah, I wanna say the terror stun. This does not mean if the enemy is stunned, you get this free power mod. No, it has to be a stun from terror. It cannot be a normal stun. You drain one enemy's gauge by one, Reduce their attack by 20% and static 20 battery. This cannot go up. So you get 10, uh, 10 gauge per turn for the first skill. And then you static 20 battery doesn't matter where you are, uh, when you, uh, or what skill level it has. It's just flat 20. This by itself lets you do buster farming. You technically don't. Yeah, like you'd want to double stack this so you get the MP damage. That's why you'd want the skill cooldown to go down to six. So you get much more damage out of it. However, that da like that extra 30% MP damage, yes, it's going to scale well with Oberon. Uh, you're mixing buffs. You're mixing MP damage and power mods uh, for that kind of buster farming. So you cannot expect this damage to go up as high as 100% because it's not. The more MP damage you stack with Abigail, the less value uh, this power mod is going to have outside. I mean, sorry, the less value it's going to have for the MP, not for face guards. For face guards, he doesn't have crit buffs. Thus, this is going to be a big spike for her face guard damage. But again, all of this 
this part, this power mod, if you don't land the terror, the damage is going to fall off a lot. If you don't land the defense, it's going to fall off maybe not as much, but it is definitely going to fall off. I like I think for turn 3 if you are popping Oberon's third skill, uh not like not landing the defense down is going to affect your damage more than not landing the terror. Passives, Existence Outside the Domain EX, 2 stars per turn, and Debuff Resistance, 12%. This part, always important for Van Gogh Synergy. Uh, since Abiel does not have any crit focus by herself, uh, you would think, use her with Van Gogh to make her crits, like, bite. The issue with that is one Buster card, and then Lackluster Arts cards. She wants to just be spamming her MP. She kind of doesn't care about doing crit damage. Uh, just like based on the fact she doesn't have an attack buff. She gives herself MP damage, defense down. Uh, power mod makes it so she actually can do face guard damage. But again, power mod stacks uh, adds with crit damage, not multiplies. So you're not doing that much for you yourself if you run her with Van Gogh. You do, however, have far more opportunities to use Van Gogh's like spammable NP to spam terror. So even if yours doesn't land, you can use Van Gogh's. This power mod is not to Abigail's terror, it's terror in general. So Van Gogh, for example, uh, Van Gogh, their, spam their MP is one of the most spammable in the game as long as Van Gogh is like active, actively able to use cards. And their chance to activate terror is... Is it double? No, it's 50%. But it's still higher than most other terrors. And usually... And because it's so uh, spammable, like even if you don't land it the first time, Van Gogh is probably going to land it the second time. Because they do have debuff success rate up. And skills. Uh, right now, this is more important. Skill reloading is more important than getting mana loading. However, if you want to try to do Black Rail uh, with Abigail, with Summer uh, Chloe, um, I'm actually. Tr yeah. Black rail looping with her does not work if you do not have uh, the cooldown. It, it just cannot work. So I would definitely pick this first and then go mana loading just for ease of use and just get it pumping out more damage than this by itself. Because if you get mana loading, uh, you can black rail, you can't black rail loop, but you can buster farm. It's just your damage isn't going to be as high as it could. Also, for her, th like, also, this is a rare exception. Uh, she has anti berserker pen, she is a foreigner. Berserkers do less damage to her, so she just wins easy harder. But now we're talking about three different pens and this is much more situational however we are going to be able to swap a pens like we can command codes eventually or not eventually recent uh in the near future so if you are if you want this or you already have it unlocked and you know you're not going to be fighting berserkers you can just swap this off and unlock one of these two just depending on the case all right so mp buff or not MP buff, MP itself. Four hit single target, removes one enemy's buffs and it activates before damage, amazing. Overcharge effect reduces crit attack chance and this has actually very, very high scaling, but it's only for a single turn. So, and if you happen to terror the enemy that turn, it means they're not gonna crit anyway. So there actually is a little anti-synergy 
with this only being one turn. In the past, I have said Abigail on her MP needed to get like cooldown reduction. I don't think that anymore since now only one of her skills is on a seven or no, two of her skills are on a seven and one is on a six. However, yeah, no, with the, since they made it so she actually can do like buster farming, um, I would prefer that if they buff the MP, it is to make it easier to land this. I, I would prefer this landing 100% of the time and needing your MP to like get this back off cooldown. Like, yeah, I would prefer, I would prefer like putting a uh, debuff res down on MP. Because half the time you're, you're not, probably not. Oh, actually, no. Hang on. No, we're talking about buster farming. Buff, uh, debuff success rate. Let her, let her stack that on. Um, yeah, like three turns, 20% debuff success rate. Like give it to her just so, uh, there isn't an issue with her missing out on damage. Uh, and let's just double check what her MP damage actually is. Cause it could be pretty low. I. Uh, 45 yeah no this hasn't been uh they haven't adjusted this yet but with a 100 percent uh power mod and 30 percent defense uh it should not it's not going to be double it's not this damage is not going to be doubled it's not going to jump up to 90,000. uh if i had to guess with power mod it'd be around 80,000. um but yeah, like Abigail has doesn't have the lowest MP damage that goes to Yang Guifei, uh, and is part of the reason why she might be getting the buff, just because this damage is like really low in comparison. Like Yang, if Yang doesn't isn't able to burn the enemies, she is so screwed. But as you can see, she kind of she ramps up differently. Uh, yeah, no, she has super effective on burn. So, I don't know. Maybe the next uh, foreigner that will be buffed is going to be Yang Guifei. But Abigail, okay-ish damage in comparison to other foreigners. So, I don't think she actually will get the buff. But, yeah, Emig Chex is, has an MP buff. Uh, Wan Jina came out the door, and she ramps up so much. I didn't think Yang, Yang, uh, her damage was this low compared to other characters. So she, I, her and Koi and Sky actually might be the ones getting the other buff. She's a forwarder, so she needs all different types of gold mats. Like a lot of different gold mats. Like a sickening amount of gold mats. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. Eight different gold mats. If you are hurting right now, you're not leveling Abigail, just like I'm not leveling mine right now. Bond CE, 30% MP damage, and insta kill immunity for three times. Which is really weird because she has such a low death rate. Like, it's not 1%, but like, the, like, I mean, if you were looking at it from a math point of view, it is seven times higher than a 1% chance. But like, it, most servants are sitting around like 20. So this is like a third of the death rate for a lot of servants. At minimum, some of them have it higher. Um, but I think that depends if they're a living human or not. 
Yeah. So, Abigail, her buff. Do I think people need to summon for her? Fuck no. This is not enough. This buff, it is very nice. This is not enough for me to tell people uh, to actively summon for Abigail. I am very happy I managed to snipe her on my main account for GSSR. Yeah, my head is all over the place. I was thinking, wait, did I even get new servants for GSSR? I did on my ma main account, not on JP. JP was just MP2s. Uh, yeah. If you don't have Van Gogh, uh, Abigail is going to feel worse. If you do have Van Gogh, use them together in challenge quests. Uh, and Van Gogh is pretty much just going to be the main DPS, and Abigail is just going to be sitting on the side spamming her MP. Uh, if possible. Yeah. She's, she's an awkward character to use, uh, and it just doesn't help that her base kit was the way it was. They made a bad kit, and then they had to keep fixing it for years. All right. See you guys. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.